At this point, we now have eight rabbits after six months. But the question was, how many rabbits are we going to have after a full year, after 12 months? And remember, it's not the answer that's the most important part, but the process of finding the solution that we're mostly interested in. So let's take a look at that Fibonacci sequence. After 12 months, we now have 144 rabbits. But here's the magic part. If we add any two numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, we add them together, the answer will always be the next number in the sequence. So 2 plus 3, of course, equals 5. 21 plus 34 equals 55. And that goes on until infinity. So now that we've realized we can add any two numbers that are next to one another to give us the next number in the sequence, let's divide these numbers by each other and see what happens. If we take 34 and 55, we're going to get 0 0.618. If we divide 610 by 987, we're once again going to get 0 0.618. So how are we going to use this to make money in the market, JC? When markets are trending, they correct that trend. Uptrends correct to the downside, downtrends correct to the upside. These are just normal market behaviors that we're fully aware of. So in Fibonacci, we can use this math to come up with targets, retracement targets. So in this case, we're using an example of a downtrend. In this case, the prerequisite is a former downtrend, of course. A key pivot low, in this case, a very traditional double bottom. And then, of course, the ensuing rally. The initial target could be anywhere near this level. That would just be dependent on whatever pattern is building here. But this 61.8% retracement of that previous decline is going to be trouble. The market might just recognize that temporarily. It might exceed this level and recognize it as new support. But I'm telling you from experience, Nine times out of 10, the market is going to respect those levels, even if it's just temporary. So we can fully expect some sort of consolidation, maybe even a reversal to take place at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement of that previous decline. So here's a great example of Fibonacci in action. We are looking at JP Morgan Chase throughout 2000 to 2013. We have a beautiful uptrend off of those historic March of 2009 lows, a standard consolidation after that initial thrust higher. It's not a coincidence that support was exactly to the penny, the 61.8% retracement of the entire previous rally. 